morning. Do y'all know how to unload an air unload using vapor recovery? If not, stay tuned, I'll show you. What's up, what's up, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the Truck Trucker Channel, y'all. I am your boy, Terrell's Truck. Y'all, we are here in Kansas City. We are unloading a hazmat chemical load. So of course, chemical, chemical gear on. Um, so, vapor recovery, y'all. Let me show you this first. If you look, you'll see, I do not have an airline going up, hooked up, to the top of the trailer here you don't see an airline running down underneath the trailer anywhere if you look up front you don't even see air hooked up to the front up here which I'll show you no air hooked up to the front we're hooked up to the back let me show you how we do that y'all do 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 because I try to teach y'all here on my channel y'all we have that special fitting made of course, you can see we got our air. We had to use a double double female um, coupling along with a well, three or two or a three inch with a bleed off, and then a three inch double female because they had a male end on their hose right here. So, you no, know, you got a male on the trailer, male on here. So, you got to have a, a double three inch female to connect the two male ends. Plus, you need a bleed off so you can bleed pressure because we are air unloading and the customer does not have a bleed off on their end. Now, there's our airline. We are hooked up into our vapor recovery. Now, this trailer here actually has two separate hydraulic jacks. One for vapor recovery and one for your outlet. So, you can open this one up. As you can see, we're sitting at about 22 PSI. We've got our valve here. All your vapor recovery lines will always have a valve down here. No matter whether, now not all of them have one up top on the trailer. I can't really go up because I can't show you the name on the trailer, but all of them will have a valve down here. Some of them may even have a valve up at the top, but generally if it has a, hydro a separate hydraulic jack, you don't have to climb up top. That's what that is for, so you do not have to climb the top of the trailer, but you open this, and this is why this little special fitting that I had made comes in handy. All this is, is basically this cap right here that I had drilled out and have a Chicago fit and welded into it. Now I can hook up air down here without having to climb the top because otherwise, if I didn't have that fitting, I'd have to climb up to the top of the trailer or, hook, or run this airline all the way to the front of the trailer to hook up, y'all. This saves you time. And this is how you can pressurize a trailer from the bottom of the trailer. You know, anything to keep from having to go up top is good because some plants won't allow you up on top of the trailer. So if you have this fitting and you have vapor recovery, this is how you can air unload up top without having to climb the top. I didn't have to climb on top of this trailer not one time. But we're air unloading. We do have fall, which I showed you on a previous video. You get a level, check that bubble. Well, this one goes this way. Make sure you've got fall on your bubble on a level. Then you know you're good. You've got all the product off if you've got plenty of fall. So that's a good thing. As you can see, the driveway slopes down. So we're nowhere good. This is a real thin liquid, so this just comes right off. In a way, you can tell if you're unloaded. If you're ever in doubt and you don't know whether the product is flowing, here's a way to tell. Come here to the valve, close this valve. If you see that hose jump, let me see here. See how that hose jump? That means the product is flowing because when you immediately cut that flow off, that, that stopped that stop that surge all of a sudden, just like the surge in a tanker. How when you're driving, you've got the surge in a tanker, it's the exact same principle. That product just stops and is abrupt stop. So that's one way you can always tell whether your product is flowing or not. Close their end real fast. If they got a quick ball valve, it's real fast. Like this, this will take you a while to do it, you know, having to roll it shut. But if you got a ball valve like that, quick close it, if that hose jumps, then you know you're unloading. So. Anyway, y'all, that's just my little short tip on how to unload with vapor recovery. Anyway, we'll catch y'all next video, y'all. Stay safe. Even when you feel 
low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no man, I still go Go, go